The next thing that we're going to do is create the services page. So just click on services and we need to remove the title and sidebar. So go ahead and click on edit page. Then scroll down and under content layout, choose 100% full width and click title and choose disable. Then press update and view page. And now it's ready to start editing. And sometimes this edit with Elementor isn't up here. So we can click edit page and click edit with Elementor right here and it will launch. So it's just a little glitchy sometimes. All right, now we're gonna put our services on the left and an image on the right or the image on the left and our services on the right describing it. So let's go ahead and add new section and let's make it two columns. Let's edit our columns by clicking on this button and going to advanced and unlink the padding values and let's add 30 to the top and 30 to the bottom to give it a little space on the top and bottom. And now let's add some elements by clicking on the add elements button and let's add a heading. All right, let's change the text and click style and change the color. We're gonna change it to 5E, 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 so a dark gray and choose typography on. And for size, let's put in 38. And for weight, let's do 300. So it's pretty thin. And we can click on advanced. And for margin, let's unlink the values and do 25 for the top. And let's click the add elements button and drag in a text editor right below our title. All right, now we can add in some text. So we could just paste as plain text and paste it in there. And let's add some more elements. Click hold and drag an image to the right side and choose our image, upload files, select files, and let's click on the relax image, press open and insert media. All right, that looks pretty good. Now let's duplicate this section by clicking on the duplicate button and let's switch these. So let's put the image over here, just click hold and drag and put the title and text over here. Just click, hold, and drag. So we wanna alternate from the text on the left and image on the right to the image on the left and the text on the right. But obviously we have to change the image. So let's go ahead and click on the image and upload files and select files. And let's choose begin and press open and insert media. All right, that's pretty cool, but let's change the text to begin and the text below it, let's change. Highlight everything, paste as plain text and paste in your text. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's duplicate the first section again and just click, hold and drag the entire section to the bottom. And again, change the title to reflect or whatever you are advertising and change the text. Just paste as plain text and paste whatever you want in there. And let's change the image by clicking on it and uploading files, select files, click reflect, press open, it'll upload and click insert media. All right, that's looking pretty cool. Let's duplicate this section and click hold and drag it to the bottom. And let's change the title here to enjoy and the text below it. Let's change, highlight, paste as plain text, paste it in there. And let's change the image, just click on it and choose image, upload files, select files, click enjoy, press open and insert media. All right, that is looking pretty cool. So let's save that and view our page. And that's looking pretty awesome, but I wonder if we can make it a little better. And maybe we should add another call to action at the bottom of this page. So how do we do that? Well, maybe we want to add the same call to action that we have on the home page, but let's not recreate and reinvent the wheel. Let's just take it from the home page and add it to our services page. So let's see how to do that. All right, so let's go to our home page by clicking on our logo or our text up here. And we want to duplicate this section right here. So how do we do that? Well, we can click edit with Elementor and let's scroll down to that section and let's click on the save icon. All right, now let's enter in what it is, call to action, bottom, and press save and exit out of there. And let's save the mobile version also by clicking on the save button and naming it, call to action, bottom, mobile. 
and pressing save and exiting out of there. All right, now that those are saved, we can exit out of there and view our page and close that page. Then go to the services page and scroll down to the bottom. We don't really need to scroll down, but click edit with Elementor. All right, now scroll down and click on this folder icon over here and click templates library and my templates. And now we can click insert. So we wanna insert that and it inserts so it saves us a whole bunch of time and let's do that again let's click on the folder icon over here go to templates library go to my templates and insert the mobile version and now we have the desktop version and mobile version all right we can edit the columns now and we can click on style and change the background color if we want maybe we want it to be white like the other ones are and we can change this one also by clicking on the edit column button and going to style and also making this white. And we could click on the text and change the title of our work to something like schedule a visit. And we could click on style and change the text color to something else. Maybe we want it 5e, 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 so this dark gray. And we could change the size to maybe 37 and the font weight to 500. And under it, we can edit the text by clicking on it and highlighting it and saying call or email to schedule a three-day retreat or check out our work or whatever you want, of course. We're just gonna copy that and paste it down here to this section. And we can actually duplicate the schedule a visit and just drag it down and center it and delete the R work. All right, we can click on the R services button and we can go ahead and change that to contact for the link. So it goes to our contact page and we can change this text to schedule it. We can copy that and do that to the other button. Just click on the button and paste in the text, schedule it and make it go to our contact page. All right, that's looking pretty awesome. Now what we can do is we can edit these columns here and what we want to do is edit every other section so that it is light gray so that it's easier on the eyes to to see which section is which so let me just show you let's click on the edit column button and going to style and background type let's choose classic and let's choose just f9 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 and let's skip a section and go to the enjoy section and click on the edit column button and going to style Background type is classic, color F9, F9, F9. So it's a very, very light gray, but it's gonna look better on our eyes. And let's save and exit out of there and click view page. We can close this tab and now we can see it and it just separates it and it makes it look a lot better. I feel like the details are what make your website look amazing. And we have the schedule of visit and it looks pretty great. So everything is looking really good. And if we squish it, we can see that it looks pretty good. But we can see that we kind of get these double images here. And of course we can change them, but the schedule of visit is looking awesome. But these double images are really annoying me. So let's see how to fix that. Let's click on edit with Elementor again. And let's just duplicate this section. And let's switch this image to the right side and switch this to the left side. And let's do that for this section also. Let's duplicate it and switch this to the right side and the image to the right side. So let's edit this column and only show this on the desktop version. So let's go to advanced and let's hide on tablet and hide on mobile. Let's do the opposite for this section. Let's only show it on mobile. So click on the edit column button, click advance, go down to responsive and hide on tablet and hide on desktop. So it only shows on mobile. And let's click on this section and go to advanced. And we're actually gonna show on tablet on this one. All right, and that one's correct. And let's do it for this section. Click on the edit column, advance, go to responsive, and we are going to hide on mobile. And we'll click on this section, and we'll go to advanced, go to responsive, 
and we are going to hide on desktop and hide on tablet so it shows only on mobile. All right, now let's click on save and exit out of there and view our page. And if we squish it again, we can see that we don't get those double stacked images and it looks much better on mobile. And it looked messed up because the columns get squished and they start stacking on top of each other. But when the image goes on the left, and then the image goes on the right, it sort of messes up and they stack on top of each other. So we just moved all of the images to the right on mobile and it looks much better. All right, so we can go back to the desktop version of that and we are done creating our services page. That's looking pretty awesome. And now we can go to the contact page by clicking on the schedule it button and begin working on the contact page.